back home and the upgrade I got or the part I got is this servo up oh wrong is this servo from Power Hobby. It is going to be an upgrade for the TRX4 Sport because the servo I had on there for a while and it's not really that good. Yep. Oh, look at this. Um, it looks like a more arms if you're putting on something else. Alright, there it is. Uh, it's all metal cased. Uh, it is waterproof, so that's very nice. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Here's the stock one. It is metal geared, but it's very slow and not very torquey. And also, I have a Arma Sentin brush motor in here. I thought it'd be fun to drive around. But I'm going to put the normal uh, brushed um, motor in here. I believe that goes like that. The cord to attach it to the receiver box is a little short. So it's kind of going to have to come off the side right here. I might have to cut off a little bit of the plastic for it to, to make it work. What I had to do was cut a little part in the this section so the wire can actually go through. Let's see how fast and torquey uh, this new servo is. Very nice. Oh, let's try going up this part right here. It's quite steep. Even with these massive grippy tires on a rocky surface, it's still incredibly good. This servo was about $70 made by Power Hobby. If you want to get it, I'll put a link down below because this thing is actually really good. It's very quick. It has plenty of torque and uh, it has metal gears, metal casing. And it's also waterproof. So it has basically everything you need. If you are getting it for a T-Rex 4 or a T-Rex 4 Sport, just keep in mind that the cord is pretty short. So you do have to trim a little bit and put it into the receiver box. But besides that, this thing is perfect.